Hello, today I've completed a five minute makeup challenge, which is this look that I have got on right now. And I just wanted to show you that a really, really quick makeup look is possible. And with just a few products, you can really make a very easy to wear, fresh makeup look with very little time. So before I start, I just wanted to tell you what I've got on my face before. I've got two makeup skincare products on which are new and I'm really enjoying. Um, one is the Origins Ginseng Eye Cream and then I've also used the L'Occitane Creme Perfectrice Cream as well, which are both really lovely products as a base layer before you apply foundation. So I'm just gonna go back to the beginning now and ready to start my five minute makeup challenge. I really hope you enjoy it. Okay, five minutes on the clock. Okay, so first I'm going to use the CC cream from Bourjois, 123 Perfect CC cream, which I'm going to use mostly in the centre of my face. I'm going to use this without looking for a minute, just so I can get it on, and then I'm going to blend it out with a mirror. Normally I would obviously be doing this directly in front of a mirror, not in front of a camera. Okay, so that's gone pretty, pretty good. Okay, after that, I'm going to put on some concealer. I'm going to use the Collection Last Infection Concealer. I'm going to do two V's underneath my eyes, down the nose, a bit of the forehead, chin, either side, and then I'm going to quickly pop them on some little blemishes. Now I'm going to blend that in. Tapping and blending. Obviously the base takes the most amount of time when it comes to makeup, but if your base is good, it doesn't matter so much if you've not got much else on. This is just to really make you look alive and healthy and natural looking anyway. Chin. Obviously this will settle down a little bit with time as well. So when it comes to the foundation or the CC cream. Obviously being a little bit rougher with my face than I normally would be. How does it look? Not too bad. A tiny bit more on. Ooh, I waste time. On my nose. Okay, so then next I'm gonna pop on a little bit, tiny weeny 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 bit of Jest eyeshadow, which is a really pretty pinky pearly shade. Literally gonna shove this on with a finger. Really, really easy to apply because it's quite fleshy toned anyway. So if it's not perfect, it doesn't matter, you don't really see the edges. It's very easy to blend. Then I'm gonna quickly put on a little bit of brow mascara from Maybelline. Got really skinny eyebrows, this brush is probably going to be a bit too thick for you, but if you've got sort of medium to thick eyebrows like mine, then it should be absolutely fine. Just gives a little bit of extra definition and keeps the shape because my eyebrow hair is quite long. Right, okay, next, quick bit of curling of eyelashes. Might think this is unnecessary, but to me, it means that the mascara will go on better because it's done that curling bit for you already. So I hope you won't need as much to put on. I'm going to use DHC Double Protection Mascara. Really great mascara because it doesn't really smudge or transfer. Normally you only use it on the bottom lashes, but I'm going to use it on both in the hope that it won't transfer too much on my skin while I'm in a rush. Okay. Okay, before I do the bottom lashes, I'm actually going to do a little bit of powder. I'm going to use the DHC Q10. Loose powder, quick bit on the concealer. Anywhere where I put a bit more concealer for like spots. Somewhere where it's going to be a bit shiny. That's it. Then Fleur Power MAC blusher. Oh, I'm getting scared, I'm going to run out of time. Lovely bit of colour. Too much on that side. Okay. And then lipstick, gonna use Jet Set, um, Jet Set Dior lipstick. Really pretty, balmy lipstick. How much time have I got? Oh, 58 seconds. Got time to do a bit of, lip, bit of mascara on my bottom lashes. Give it a little bit 
some more definition to the eyes. Get a bit on more on top. Can't believe I've done this quick. Oh, feel positively leisurely right now. Waiting for that alarm to go off. Keep lashing on the mascara. So me, the more the better really with mascara. Came through, such a brilliant mascara. My Japanese purchases, but you can buy it in the UK. Ah, <gasps> oh, that's it. That's it. That's five minutes. I did it. I'm actually really impressed. So that is my makeup face. Let's have a look. A couple of brush hairs. You can brush those off really pleased with that not too shiny got a little bit of powder on got a bit of concealer on got some lipstick on quids in so I hope you enjoyed that because that was a genuine challenge for me I didn't know I was gonna be able to do that or not and I did it so just to recap the products 123 perfect CC cream from bourgeois then I used the lasting perfection concealer can't really see it very well in my packaging because it's worn off here it is, got everything all over the place. Last Perfection Concealer. I also used the DHC Q10 Loose Translucent Powder. I used the MAC Fleur Power Blush. And I used Jest, which is a um, eyeshadow from MAC, lovely colour. And I used the Dior, what's the name of this one? Dior Addict Lipstick, which is 544 in the shade Jet Set. And Oh, sorry, one more. <laughs> I've got the Brow Drama Mascara from Maybelline as well. So that's it. That is what is on my face that I applied in five minutes. And I think it's actually a pretty good look for really, really, really fast makeup technique. And hopefully something that you can create yourself very, very easily. And a good one for on the go or when you have no time and you just want to put a little bit of makeup on and make yourself look a little bit more polished and fresh. So thanks for watching and I hope you have a very, very lovely day.